health sessions. This is a serious talk for people who take health very seriously. Today we're going to talk about sugar. I've made some notes, plenty of them, and hopefully this will give you some awareness about how much sugar you can take and how dangerous and toxic sugar can be. Sugar is naturally present in all foods that contain carbohydrates, such as fruits, veg, grains and dairy. Consuming whole foods that contain natural sugar is okay. Since our body digests these foods slowly, the sugar in them offers a steady supply of energy to our cells. Our cells need energy in order to make our organs work. Eating plenty of fruits and vegetables and whole grain is proven to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and even some type of cancers. So, here is a million pound question. Why does sugar make us feel so good? Everybody loves sugar. Everybody likes to have a donut or a chocolate and it makes us feel really good. But eating sugar gives our brain a huge surge of feel-good chemical called dopamine. Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter that plays a role in how we feel pleasure. So it's all mind buzz, brain buzz. However, problems occur when we consume too much added sugar. That is sugar that food manufacturers add to products to increase flavor or extend shelf life. Eating too much sugar as such can lead to obesity and diabetes. Now, let me share with you an interesting study I found, published in 2014 in JAMA Internal Medicine. Dr. Hugh and his colleagues found an association between a high sugar diet and a greater risk of dying from heart disease. Over the course of 15 years study, people who got 17% to 21% of their calories from added sugar had a 38% higher risk of dying from a cardiovascular disease compared to those who consumed 8% of their calories as added sugar. If you consume too much sugar, you will sooner or later get a heart disease and I'm sorry to be straight but this is true, it's a fact. So consuming too much added sugar can also raise blood pressure and increase chronic inflammation, both of which are pathological pathways to heart disease. So you can see from studies, from, from scientific evidence, how sugar in large quantities it's so bad for our heart especially the whole cardiovascular system it's absolutely unbelievable again another fact is excess consumption of sugar especially in sugar beverages also contributes to weight gain naturally eating lots of sweets has been shown to worsen joint pain because of the inflammation they cause in the body. So this is another thing. Uh, sugar is increasing inflammation in our body. And we all know, or at least majority of people know, that inflammation is the cause of many diseases. So now, let me share with you the best ways to monitor your sugar intake by looking at the labels very important to look at the labels so you know what you're buying and you know every single ingredient this is super important and also not just for sugar but for example you might buy food or cosmetics that contain aluminium aluminium is associated with neuro disease for example can be a cause of alzheimer so that's just another tip to look at for so going back to the sugar look for the following names corn sweetener, corn syrup, fruit juice concentrate, high fructose corn syrup, invert sugar and malt sugar. And very recently I have been studying 
nervous system, which is part of my biomedical studies, and I came across aspartam. And I'd like to read you a slide from my course, which I found very interesting and, and actually quite mind-blowing as well. Aspartam is a non-carbohydrate artificial sweetener, 200 times sweeter than sugar, used in approximately 6,000 foods and drinks. Aspartam has been the subject of much controversy its toxic side effects are well documented. It has also been shown not to help with weight loss, but cause weight gain. There you go. Aspartam is linked to widespread neurological damage and a variety of symptoms, conditions such as Parkinson's disease and balance problems. Can you see that? It can actually cause Parkinson's disease because it's a neurotoxin. Crazy. It's crazy. It's a poison. Now, here is a question. So how much sugar can we eat? Because we know sugar is toxic in large quantities, but like with everything, we need to maintain balance. So if you eat sugar in, in a balanced proportion, it's not so bad but you just need to know how much you can eat. So, according to NHS, adults should have no more than 30 grams of added sugar a day. And that is two tablespoons. Actually, I wanted to bring to your attention that one small bottle of Coca-Cola contains 44 grams of sugar. This is 14 grams above the NHS recommendation. Children aged 7 to 10 should have no more than 24 grams of sugar a day. And that comes to about one and a half tablespoon. And children aged 4 to 6 should have no more than 19 grams of sugar a day. And this is roughly about one tablespoon of sugar. Added sugar, or also called free sugar, can be found in foods such as sweets, cakes, chocolate, biscuits, fizzy drinks and juice drinks. At home we have learned to enjoy a wide range of flavors that nature has to offer. We enjoy a variety of herbal teas which gives a variety of sensations to our tongue. Hence, we can definitely say that sugar has a numb note and a very monotone flavor. So knowing all this, why would you consume so much sugar? Thank you for watching and listening to me. If you want to discuss this topic further, please get in touch by placing a comment below and we will be more than happy to engage in the conversation with you. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Skull Sessions.